I've been meaning to use my DSLR camera to film, but how the heck do I get my files from there to my iPhone? Hmm, I wonder. You are now looking at the package. So this item costs 310 Philippine pesos, which includes a 50 pesos shipping fee. So the item itself is 260 pesos. So in US dollars, including shipping, that would be $6.20. So I ordered this item on June 26th of 2020. I paid it on the same day and I received it on July 2nd. So I waited six calendar days for this item to arrive. Now for the opening it up. I have my trusty old scissors right here. I'll just carefully cut through this paper. It is paper, not plastic, for a change. It has bubble wrap inside. <clears throat> and when I open it, it looks like this. So this is the box. It looks pretty iPhone-y to me. So lightning to SD card camera reader. And this is what the item should look like and so okay so let's zoom in on what it says <clears throat> lightning to sd card camera reader it has the lightning cable it has the sd camera card camera reader and how it should work is you get the memory card from the DSLR camera and then connect it to your iOS device. Seems simple enough. So let's open this box and see what it has. So I'm just opening it real quick. I have short fingers or fingernails rather. I'm opening it. It has this um, plastic in here the instruction manual okay and the item itself is here so far so good okay so i'm taking it off it has some kind of plastic covering i'll remove it or maybe i don't need to I guess I could keep it on. It's like a plastic protective film. I guess I could keep it on just to make it safe. And it has an illustration of which way the card reader should go up. So I guess the next step is to get my DSL car, uh, camera, DSLR camera, get the card reader out, and I'll shift to screen recording mode so I could uh, show you what it looks like when I plug this thing into my iPhone. So. Please stay tuned. So this is my camera. I'll just twist it a bit. And this is the slot for the card reader. I'll just take it out like so. And you just have to give it a little push so it would self-eject. And then you can take it out. So this is it. This is the card reader. I'll insert it here. So it says it should go here. All right. That seems to fit perfectly. This is as far as it goes. And all that's left to do is to insert it, this end, to my iPhone. Before I plug the other end into my iPhone, I thought you should see what's inside the camera first. So we would know if it's matching and if everything is being viewed. So I'll turn this thing on. Turn it on. There it is. I'll press this. And it would start with a photo of my brother with Sophie, my other dog. And an image of a vase. This man. And some college kids. So my dog... A va uh, my brother and uh, our dog, a vase, this man, and some college kids. Let's see if that will reflect in the screen capture once we plug the other end on my iPhone. 
I am now in screen record mode. And when I plugged it in, it immediately showed me what seems to be the gallery of my DSLR camera. I'm seeing the vase, the man and the college kids. Not sure why my brother and Sophie are not located. But anyway, I'm going to select those three and select import selected. That import option is new to me though. And it says, blah, 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 delete. Of course not, I would like to keep it. So that seems self-explanatory. And it's already in my gallery. Look at that. So let's take a look at the three images. The vase. Okay. The man. And the college kit. So that seems appropriate. Look at the quality though. All right. So it looks like this thing is working. That's a five out of five. Thanks for watching and you have a wonderful day.